Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 9.3 Beta 3. This is available for developers. You can download it over the air, and it was about 144 megabytes, or you can download it through the developer portal. So let's take a look at the version number. So you can see here it's 13E5200D. For those of you unfamiliar with iOS 9.3, it's added a couple major updates in the beta in general since the beginning, and that's night shift mode, which reduces some blue light in the display. It also adds some educational updates and some other things as well, uh, some quick settings under settings, but we wanna know what's new with beta three, and there's really only two small things we've been able to find so far. One of those is they've added Verizon Wi-Fi calling. So Wi-Fi calling has been available for T-Mobile and AT&T, and I believe even Sprint at this point, I'm not sure about overseas, but basically it allows you to make phone calls over your Wi-Fi connection. So maybe you have little to no signal on your actual connection. As long as you're connected to Wi-Fi, you can still place calls. So that's a nice little feature. And I believe Ver Verizon actually has to get that approved through the FCC to get that taken care of. I'm not really sure on all of that, but that comes in this particular beta. The other update they did with the beta three was actually for T-Mobile. And T-Mobile users such as myself had a bug that prevented apps from loading over cellular connections. So if I wasn't on, on Wi-Fi, I couldn't use certain apps, and I actually experienced that from time to time with certain applications. So that's actually a bug fix specific to T-Mobile. Otherwise, you should have been able to use everything. But right now, all that's fixed, and so far in this particular beta, there's really not a whole lot new. They did add in beta 2 the night shift toggle here, and they fixed some things with landscape mode. I know a lot of you continue to ask me, how fast is it if I do this press here? It looks like in beta 3. There's quite a frame rate drop now uh, when I do this actual up or when I actually do a 3D touch here rather. So if I do a 3D touch, now it's fast. It wasn't fast before, but you saw the frame rate lag that we had before. So it looks like maybe they fixed it, maybe they haven't, I'm not sure, but it only seems to happen in landscape mode. I haven't been able to find anything else in beta three, but if you've found anything and you've downloaded this beta and you're a developer or you know someone that is, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.